Beep, beep. Hey, this is one of the planets on Star Trek. It's so hot, I want to wedgie the sun. I wet my armpants. It's, ah, rattlesnake. <laughs> ha, you fall for that every year, Seymour. In the one year I didn't, I was bitten by an actual rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, desert dwellers. Get out. The second we let one trespasser on our land... won a National Endowment for the Arts grant for your scrap metal sculptures. This park's environment has been preserved free of invasive species, except for one, rock climbers. Ah, uh, my jaw is not a toe. Oh, I sprained my ankle! <laughs> I'm gonna die up here! Hang on, I'm coming up for you. Ooh, hurry before it gets dark! The legends are true! Did you find gold? Better, the prospectors left naughty French postcards. Whoa, Mama! While beautiful, the desert also harbors hidden dangers. Cacti, poisonous snakes, and most deadly of all... Oh, scorpions! Hmm. <gasps> now they're aggressive again! These flowers saved me from a terrible fate, not getting an A on my next science project. Check it out. Something pathetic's going on. You can't throw me out. I'm not dead yet. That's the deal, man. You're a fish tank. That is so hurtful. <laughs> Wish I was a fish tank. That doesn't seem fair. They won't let him escape, then they kick him out. I wonder where he'll go. Either the grave or somewhere much worse. But, uh, but sour cream and chives. Me, me, I want him every night, forever and ever. Because I love my... Here's an experiment for you. Find a man who wants to marry a lady Poindexter. <laughs> hey, you call that making love? Dad, look. This essence of a wildflower makes these angry scorpions docile. That's great, honey. If you were a boy, you'd be a scientist. Back off, you much. <laughs> and there's something else it might be good for. Good morning, family. It's such a beautiful day, I thought I'd take my little friend here for a walk. Abe, are you feeling all right? Never better. Dad, is there anything unusual in Grandpa's coffee? Uh, you look tense. Let's discuss this over a cup of Grandpa's coffee. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Eat something green? Vote for someone brown? And that's why you're acting so sweet and kind. Because Dad drugged you. Oh, thank you, thank you. The point is, when I'm cranky, nobody likes me, sweet pea. Let me live as a happy man for my remaining 30 years. It was wrong of me to play goddess. <laughs> Homer, why don't you just make some more of the serum yourself? Uh, because Lisa won't tell me what flower it's from. Excuse me? Has your daughter found a drug that renders old people tolerable to us normals? Yeah, but Lisa won't tell me how to make it. Lisa is irrelevant. Where do I find that drop? Nine. 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 Aha! World War II? I wasn't born yet. Funny how many Germans say that these days. <laughs> Mm. From that one droplet, I have synthesized 50 different compounds. Oh, this'll never work. But when you're doing it with people you love, you just can't help smiling. <gasps> Jawohl, I've isolated the molecule. These are my suitcase Susies, who will use their beauty and free giveaways to make sure our drug is prescribed. 
Thank you for the tour of your factory, Mr. Wonka. I am not Willy Wonka. No, no, you're Augustus Gloop, the fat German boy. Here is the prototype of our pill. Grandpapa, no one but you should take this drug until it has been through rigorous trials. You sell drugs? Why can't you dress like that? Because I use them too, idiot. You've got all this candy in your desk. They're Tums for my acid reflux. Even your acid wants out of you. I got something to stop in that old bag. Ooh, ooh. I got some junk to put a smile on mm. <laughs> Don't play or hate. I'm just a business boy. All right, Bart. What are you up to now? <laughs> Wait! I can't go in there grinning like a Swede on payday. It'll rile up poor Lisa if she knows I'm still popping that smiley pill. Yeah. Go. Oh. I know you're taking the drug, and I don't mind, because you're happy. Oh, thanks, sweetie. Ah! <gasps> it happened to the scorpions, too. The flower essence must have the side effect of lubricating the eye sockets to the point of popping. Well, actually, I may have accidentally traded a few of those pills for money. <gasps> so, I guess we're all in the same boat, huh? Nine, nine. My boat is me and hundreds of lawyers. Your boat has you and a lot of people with their eyes falling out. Mr. Hottenhofer, there's a mob outside. An angry mob? No, a cheerful mob. <sighs> I ain't much for speeches. But we sure do appreciate what you done for us, and uh, we were just hoping we could get more of that drug. I will destroy the drug. What? Well, I never... Walter, let's not be so hasty. Who would begrudge them a few years of shambling dope fogged into the grave? <laughs> Flat tires? No problem. <laughs> oh. How many you should have just buy a new car? Great idea. Oh, yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Together we survived the Depression, won a few wars, and put a man on the moon. In fact, the only mistake our generation made was creating that generation. <laughs> so I guess the lesson here is... If you go on a field trip, don't break off from the group. And if you are a fat little boy in a chocolate factory, never try to drink...